Hey, Steve Zuck. Welcome back to Folks Who Channel and Guitar Other System. Hey, I'm just showing this guitar again. I just recently lowered the action a little bit by just lowering the bridge here, and it really came out nice. It's got, I think, 12s on it right now. I prefer like 11s on a guitar like this because the difference in string size is thousands of an inch, and to me, it's more comfortable. This has got beautiful back on it. Th these kind of V flame backs are not that easy to find, and, and they really sound better. Yeah, it's something to do with the wood and the way it has more. Um, it's hard to explain, but the, the top married to the to the to the plain maple back just provides a certain, you know, maple tends to have that kind of open 175 sound. But to me, with with this kind of a flame pattern, there's a little more of a definition there. And then with with the top, you know, the spruce top, it's really a great combination. But anyway, this guitar really sounds good. I don't think it's been played that much. I'm gonna continue with some free instruction here. Um, if you're thinking about the guitar ladder system, just go for it, man. It's really a great situation. So anyway, uh, one, another good thing <coughs> to do, excuse me, <coughs> is to come down the guitar, like, almost like you're just going like this. You know, you're just, you're just taking one string and coming down, right? But you put chords with each one. And you don't worry about what it sounds like. That might sound flaky, but it's a matter of experimenting so your brain can get to know different sounds. Here I'm going to use four chords, part of chordal harmony. Okay. Chordal harmony is chords built out of perfect fourth. So here I'm just doing a perfect fourth, and that's a perfect fourth, but I'm adding that note on the top. One, two, three, like a, another major third on the top. See that? That even sounds nice to me. Just four chords coming down. See, the whole idea, folks, is, is to experiment and give your brain information that it can kind of put together later okay you know it's not like every time you practice it has to sound like a million bucks that's not the point at all so anyway or you could come down chromatically that's good for your brain to absorb four chords you come down four chord to 13 flat nine that's a nice one so four chord to 13 flat nine i like that Like here, that's nice, huh? Four chord to this seven, the seven chord inversion with a third on the top and the bass with a flat thirteen. Hear that? You could mix that up. Use this chord and then four chord and the thirteen flat nine. Back to that one. Thirteen flat nine. Okay. You could come down. That's a neat chord, huh? That, that's that's using your thumb. You get the root, the eleven, the six, the nine, um, the five, and the root again. Use the uh, the bi chord, which is a minor seven and a major nine, right? See, that's the whole, the whole idea of the guitar ladder system is giving, you know, like I've said before, I'm not going to drive everybody nuts about this, including myself. If you get the right focus, fighting a little cold here, if you get the right focus when you practice, you're going to make a huge leap. It's not BS. The guitar is the hardest instrument to focus on and the easiest instrument to have fun on, okay? That's why I have videos lately, like Be Honest With Yourself. You know, leave your mark on the sands of time. I'm trying to wake up the composer within everybody. I'm trying to wake up the musical genius within everybody. I'm trying to wake up your musical mind. You know, you might not end up being a Bach or a Beethoven or a Mozart, but you can end up writing some really cool stuff that you would not have wrote if you didn't go through the guitar letter system. And I really believe that because I've seen it. So four chord, 13 flat, 13 flat five, four chord, 13 flat nine, is very close to a minor seven right every chord has tons of names 13 flat 9 11 minor majors uh, no that's not a minor minor major seven would be this sound here and i was thinking of the bi chord okay so the idea is you just pick one string and then you try to vary
better just stop right there. All right, this is this is a great guitar, by the way. It is available. It really sounds good. Like I said, I would probably put 11s on it if it was my guitar, uh, just because I like the comfort of 11s. I think it has 12s or 13s. It's got just a very, very small little crack in the side of the nut. No big deal. You don't need to worry about that. But it's a gorgeous guitar. I'm, I wouldn't even mind keeping this. It sounds really good. It's beautiful. It comes with a nice hard case. It's a lot of guitar for $4.99. It's got tons of frets, barely been played. It gets some very, very, very nice uh, kind of high-end sounds too. All right, take care.